Okay. Today we're doing the final, um, the final level of Beta Three is uh, worth its salt. Of course, uh, Cauldron Keep is a uh, nice little conclusion to the game, but it is by no means a full level. So anybody who's familiar with Banjo knows this game uh, definitely. Cloud Cuckoo Land is this thing of motifs, uh, like motifs of bizarre uh, island uh, land, and it clearly was a release from having to go through Hailfire Peaks and Grunty into prior. You have two uh, next levels that are full of intricate uh, maneuvering. Connecting this, and then you have this level which is throwing at the wall and seeing what fits. And I think overall, it's a nice way to end this game. It's a lighthearted um, way to end this game. So let's delve into the level proper. Do you need a physical exercise, Fubo? Not really. That's not our bounds on. Right. I am so fit in fact that if you can beat me in three minutes, I'll give you my fitness gold medal. That's nice. It is actually, as you can probably see, a bit around the project. The bar set my best hat. All I need to do is jump over it to win. Okay, so, uh, can't do this just yet. See you around, Mr. Fit. Focus as we get shot across by a Uh, jump over the uh, high jump, Mr. Fit, but you can't do so with Banjo and Kazooie because Banjo's a fucking fat ass. So you gotta just go over with Kazooie. And what up, Zubas? What's up, Zubas Abba? Uh, lo love you and uh, Kazooie. I'm happy to see you again. So if you look in here, see if we can get a little hintsy, hintsical. Oh, what's that one? Oh, how, what? What? What is that one switch? Oh, it says clock. It says clock. It says, uh, the clock of Kazooie. Oh, okay. So, we're gonna have to go through there somehow. Perhaps it's below. I don't know. Gee, golly. Alright, so yeah, obviously, over here. I love how they tell you what to do. <laughs> There's certain aspects of this game that don't age very well because you recognize that unless you're in a permanent eight-year-old self-state, this stuff can be kind of frustrating to you. It's like, you just know to hit the switch. You would just figure it out. You don't need to be told that um, you have to use Cloud Clockwork Kazooie egg. Especially because there's other occasions earlier on in the game, namely Pterodactyl Land, where you have to use a Clockwork Kazooie egg to get into this, um, uh, into these alcoves that are, uh, blocked off these cells, I suppose. Um, and there, there's Jinjo inside, and there's one of those, um, Unga Bungas that you have to, uh, blow up right in the, right in the tush. So here's that eyeballless Jigum 
plant. We've got folly all around. It's pretty creepy, actually, when you look at it. But here is our good old friend, George. Hi, young man. I'm George Ice Cube. Stuck up here on this fabulous altitude. Oh, hello, George. I was a rocker on the ice side of health file pick with my wife, Mildred, when a huge blizzard came along and blew me away. Man, I stopped it. What was you? I'm afraid of threat now. I reckon I'm above the ice side, so if you could just give a little push. Alright, George, if you say so. Whoa! I wonder if Chris Sutherland did that, or who the fuck made that noise? <laughs> Tell Mildred I love her! Well, this will be the first time I actually do that, because normally I kill off Mildred before I even get to this point, and you think that she's still alive because you're a fucking noob. And, well, you wouldn't, know, you wouldn't know any better. You don't know any better. So should we dig into the cavern proper, or is there a few things you want to do outside of it first? Because this shit's annoying. I don't really want to fly around too much with these fuckers. Although they're not, they're not that bad. Should we do the worst thing first? Let's do the worst thing first, because you know. Shower hands in the air to find the object at all costs. Well, oh, fuck you. Cause I can't do anything with you yet. Go oh, shut up. Get out of here. Well, stop it. Stop it. No more. No more. Stop shooting your eye goo at me. Stop it. Alright. So, Canary Mary Race, of course. Remember her in uh, Litter Gold Jemai? Well, she's come up to the clouds. And she wants to race again because of course. I think this time you, she actually, yeah, this is actually a genuine race. You have to kind of go as fast as possible. First one's easy, second one's fucking balls, but you can, <laughs> it's all about uh, rubber banding and understanding rubber band, so if you time it well, she's actually not too difficult. So we got our standard Mario Party minigame that goes on way too long, um, and it's just fucking tedium. But hey, it doesn't take too long, now that I think about it, oh, you gotta beat him. You better get him. I'm, I'm losing my grip right now. This is gonna be carpal tunnel and be all sorts of whacked out in the morning. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. So they know. I think they were conscientious of the fact that this shit's redundant and annoying. So they give us a little uh, the benefit of the doubt here and let us do a short run. You have another jiggy up your armpit? Yeah, the usual rival surprise. Look at that! A wonderful golden jiggum chocolate! everything! Oh, really? So this section is the bane of all Android 2 players because the rubber banding is really tight. Gotta admit. So, gotta get this just right. Getting this page. Some people have never gotten this page. What you want to do, is instead of sprinting through like you did last time, just kind of hover with her, stay with her, and don't get too far ahead of yourself because if you do, she will whip your ass. So just like, yeah, hover around, right behind her, not too far away, not too close. Right, right about the... Such a bizarre thing to come up with though, a mechanical mouse flying across the entirety of this Cloud Cuckoo Land, but I suppose when you have that name, Cloud Cuckoo Land, I mean, think of it, of the rare levels uh, that exist, the rare worlds that exist, especially in the N64 catalog, this is the fucking most whimsical fart of them all. I mean, oh, are you kidding me? This level's nuts. There's random uh, uh, floating trash cans, and a pot of gold, and a pool, and... 
what else? The, the, the gelatin castle. And, uh, what is the other? There's like this cheese. There's this fucking cheese. Limburger cheese. Uh, what's it? Monolith. I mean, it's ridiculous. But alas, here we are, and we're navigating the entirety of this. So this is why this one is just also just fucking the worst. Is because you have to be like right on her like this. And it's slow, it takes its time, it's like a fucking five minute jerk through this whole level. I mean, look at this, this is ridiculous. Yeah, this is nuts. And always say, don't, don't get too far ahead. Just kind of hover around her. Hover around her. Don't make her go too fast, of course. You might end up in her cooter. I mean, you might end up in her crotch area. I apologize for those of those you like bending by. So don't give a shit. Um, oh, Banjo, what are you doing down there? Banjo, you filthy foul bear. Banjo, don't you, don't you dare do such a thing. Oh, that's a, that's definitely a person in a bird's costume. What a fucking bizarro creature. Uh, is there like a Spider-Man villain that looks a lot like this? Like, or maybe like, I guess Zapdos with the spiky hair. <laughs> Zapdos from Pokemon. Ooh, 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 ooh. I was too tight on that tail. All right, Let's see like right there. So then, once we get around the bend here and get into the last frame we can sprint but again you start too early you get fucked if you start too late you get fucked so you really want to have right oh that's tough okay so you she catches on pretty quickly so you pretty much have to do it at the end there that is hard. You know what? That is such a long and lengthy endeavor. What I'm gonna do is come around and do that again at the end. I don't even want to hear her fucking re retort because it's annoying. All right, so we'll save Humba for later. We don't need to do the B right now. Although, we can. We can do this level all sorts of wild. I, I, this is a unique way to take on the level. So let's do it. I got my, I got my Globo. You have Globo, want to give to Humba? Of course I do. You're beautiful. Lady, the beautiful, gorgeous saint of a magician. Oh, the medicine man. The medicine man. Who doesn't want to be those things? Today we have this satanic cabal that runs everything. And it's nuts. Doctors are good in some contexts and they're absolute quacks in others. So it's variable. But the real doctor is you. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Oh, I almost did it. Yeah! Ah, oh, Jinjo. That's right. I almost forgot about you, but... And that's, they don't really choreograph that. They don't uh, let you know about that very well. And that's actually pretty cryptic. I think that's one I've had to look up before, actually, because the Jinjo just stays quiet. So, I mean, you might try flying in there with the B, but there's a good chance you won't. Ah, so let's get that Jiggum plane, because that thing is annoying. Over here. Fuck you, what do you think you're doing? Thank you for past the jiggy on! Maybe he's at the pool, I believe. So let's see the pool is right There's the Lindberger cheese. I gotta do a lot with this level. I think it's down here. Motherfucker, we're gonna get you. Oh shit. Got him. Get him. Alright, that one's high up. You can see a crack in the wall, but alas, these games do not play like a Zelda, where oftentimes cracking the walls, or where you can bomb things, or in this game it would be a grenade egg. This game though? No, it's probably gonna be choreographed. Or not, I can be told, show to you in some way. But no, there's sections where it doesn't, like in, in Jollies, where there's just a crack in the uh, town center. The town center's, uh. Whatever. The, well, I don't even know where that, where that thing go. 
Oh shit. Uh, fuck. Where did I go? I don't think so. I think it was over here. Hold on. I think it's over here. No, 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 no. no. Oh, I heard it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck you. What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing over here? You can't play with the best. What do you think you're doing over here? Whoa! Okay, no, I, I came in way too hot. Alright. Gotta flip around. Zip, zip, did he do that? Oh! You're in the. Oh, wreck, dude. Well, I had to. Because I need my chocolate. I have a fucking problem. Alright. So now, sneak. Is this? I, mean, I can do some weird shit here, but. Nah, I gotta do. What's important for me is over here. And getting rid of those eyeball jiggers plants is actually really helpful because you, you don't need all that stuff annoying you. Wait, uh, no, that's right, I know this. Perfect. Now you didn't run up to come inside. Uh, okay. I guess I'll read it. Alright, so now let's find our. There it is. I apologize for the warp speed, but this is too much fun right now. Greetings, as you can see, the man that I know now is to celebrate with a ranged and to eat your name. If you score 40 points or more, we'll give you a prize. If you manage to get 50 points, then there's an extra special prize for you. Do you have any instructions, my father? Ready? Garbage. Yeah. Alright, so this is a classic red blue green. And uh, it looks hard because the targets are like tiny, but at the same time, it can't be more cake. Alright, maybe I spoke too soon, but uh, no, I don't think so. This is one of those pretty easy. You know, I'm much older now. I'm 27 playing this game. I was probably. Yeah, I was 7 playing this game. 8 years old, 7 years old. And, uh, yeah, some of these things, some aspects of this game are just going to come across as a little bit, I don't know, simplistic and redundant or easy. And that's okay. But that's how age works. I mean, you're older, you appreciate things when you're younger, but then. Reach them in different ways, and look at them in different ways when you're older. And there's good things here. There's a lot of good things going on. I mean, look at the, look at the, the decorum. Look at the hive itself. It's really cool. I mean, you have these massive platforms that come out. And you have this um, gelatinous ooze. Ooh, got both prizes, bitch. Amazing, you also got enough to win the first prize, too. Beautiful. Okay, so let's get the those things. No, 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 no. Oh, hold up, hold up, we got it. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, dude. Just let me, let me just. Oh. Hold up, dude. We're gonna get it. We're gonna... Okay. Okay. No, I don't want to play again. Alright, let's get a groove on. So I believe, unless you want to just mess around with the bee, which is not a bad idea, considering the way that the notes are set up, because th the way the notes are set up is the majority of them are inside the cavern. If not all of them, and the ones that I can't get are, um, well, then fuck. Okay, I don't want to go in that way. I have to go in, like, one of these mumbo entrances. Yeah. I think I can go in the cavern. Pretty yeah. yeah, maybe not. But... No, I can for sure. Awesome. Of course I can. Um, so 
be bullshit. Oh, right over it. Okay. This way you don't have to fuck with those uh, enemies, dude. Shoot on those. So you get those. No, I'll bring Banjo and Bazooka around. We'll lose that. Hold on. No. Hold on. So the one thing is, like, it's a bit unwieldy in the air. But you can do it. So there is some in the water, of course, and those are the ones I'm not going to be able to get, but the ones on the ground and the ones here, for instance, like I can save that headache, but then I also don't know which ones I've gone through, but it's not that hard to figure out anyways. So, uh, definitely doing this level in a weird way. This is not a regular one through. You know what? I think I will. Yeah, grab that for sure. Still gotta run through all that stuff. Go to the top. You know, I'll just get these and go and take it. Oh. This is a whole new perspective of this game. And I, there's, there's playthroughs where I don't even go in here with the bee. So this is interesting. And really explore the cavern. Oh, there's that trouble cloud. Gotta shoot that Zebu. Fuck you, what are you doing? Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I got you, son. What are you doing? Hit that, snag it. Perfect. I think there's some more right there. And there's another one right here. Oh, baby. This is how you beat this level, dude. This is how you do it in a succinct amount of time. But that's not what we're here about. We're about we're here to explore and understand the inner workings of this level. I mean, look at this. Crystalline cavern. It's beautiful. It makes you wonder all about the free... I mean, look at just... It's, it's a peculiar place. Green, blues... You can't get a handle on what's going on here. Alright, that's one I wanted to hit for sure. Oh, 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 Well, I think that's about it. I think the last of them are underwater, or I can just get them with Kazoople. And Bazooka. Banjo and Kazoople. Alright, whoa, look at that lag. Alright, so now I'm gonna go back to Humbus. Uh, is it faster this way? I think so. I'm gonna get rid of it. Yep. Ha! <laughs> you see that draw distance pop through? Yeah. Oh my good mom just showed up in that. Okay, so let's get down. Oh, too heavy. Oh, come on now. Too heavy. Oh, where you going? Alright. So now we'll go back into the uh, cavern. So that, uh, that is one of uh, the few organic transformations in this game that be. I didn't, get to, I didn't talk about them so much because I was flying through. Uh, when I got in sort of a um, uh, flow state right there. That was pretty neat. All right. Well, there's so much of this level to explore. And yeah, you have some interesting fantasy motifs here. You have a gelatin castle, you have a beanstalk that rises. Um, you've got like a Limburger. I mean, it's just, I'll, we'll delve into it and then we'll talk about it as we go through. Let's go through here because I believe that we can get a Globo through here or something. Let's see. And if not, there's probably a note or something. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no,
Alright. I'm gonna occasionally also see the fun. Bark it. Actually, you know what? I'll check it out. Just cause sometimes you gotta take things slow to appreciate and understand them. So far, not stop. Okay, yeah, so that doesn't help us at all. It just means if you see a mouse and you haven't done the whole section of it, of, uh, you somehow did not complete, uh, <laughs> what the fuck, Glitter Gulch Mine section of, uh, Canary Mary, then you would have to, in order for that cart, that mad, that a mouse cart to be fixed. But I don't know how that would happen, you'd have to be pretty ignorant of that. Or just not want to do it, being like, oh, it's kind of a stupid challenge, I don't want to do it. Fair enough. There's so many of those cards. That's why, like, running through with the bee and getting all that stuff is kind of helpful. Alright, so now... Oh, I want this to be attached to that, of course. And I got that. Yeah, I got that with the bee. Jesus. Okay. There we go. Oh. Flawless flower If I'm not mistaken. Uh, jam jars. I gotta say I prefer bottles. Jam jars just kinda gets tired for me. I don't like his design as much. Bottles is more innocent. Jam and you, like bookish jam jars is your stereotypical fucking drill sergeant. Teaches you moves. Eh. Eh. Okay. Oh, I got two right there. That's helpful. So now I'm just missing ten. Otherwise, oh, no science left there. Now that I'm reading science, apparently. Yep, so. Pretty simple there with those seeds I got. Sack pack. So this is what you need to complete um, the Mr. Fit Challenge. The second Mr. Fit Challenge. So let's get the fuck out of here. When I'll, I'll, sh yeah, I'll show you what I'm doing. I mean, I mean, what's going on? Well, get me out of here. Alright, so then you do this. Oh, we got our sack pack. We're ready for the beanbag race. A sack race. Let's do it. Come on. I'll take you on. You got some decent hops on this. I can't, you're totally vulnerable. Fuck. Alright, so now. I need Kazooie to do some shit. Actually. Let's see. Well, Kazooie can go over there. Oh no, hold on. Which, which, which way is that? That that's, I think it's right there. Okay, I gotta do this first. For sure. I gotta do this first. Come on, boys. Apologize for the glitches. Oh, nope. No sorry, Bob. That is not what we're looking to do here. Okay, I think it's. That's not it. Okay, it's gotta be. Fuck it, I gotta get out of this one. This might be a mum though, but. Let's fly out of here. That's where we need to go. Right there. I'm missing it by just a little bit. That entrance right there. Alright, whatever. We got it. So now we gotta get our springy step shoes. 
Mr. Fit, you're going down. I don't stand a chance because Zooey is the highest jumper, dragon jumper in the land. Alright, here we go. Get over here. Come on. Do this, do this. Hey, hey, you fucking lummox. Suck on this dick. Oh, but I'm a fucking burner. Yeah, I don't even need. I don't even need the cushion. The gelatin cushion. Get the fuck out of here, you stupid anteater. Uh, I'll see you uh, later on. Don't stand a chance. Oh, you don't. You, you may. You, uh, you got a course for me over there? You think you're gonna stand a chance? I'll, I'll just send my, my, my bro on you. He's gonna fuck you up. That's right. Andrew will shatter his dreams of being an ace. The ultimate athlete. Okay, so now I gotta go. There, there, yep. Cool. I think there's some Kazupo shit I gotta do. Obviously, there's some Kazupo shit because there's some eggs that need to be hatched. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. No, 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 This has got to be one of them, isn't it? Yes, sir. Alright, so... We got the float jump for Banj. Oh. What else can Kazoo do? Kazoo. I'll do my mom a little bit. Zuri needs to go over to the trash can. Might be over here. Yeah. And then I just pass it on. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yep. Hold on, what's up here, though? I got it. Fuck you, what do you think you're doing? Burned you at the stake, motherfucker. Alright. Alright, come on, yeah. Cool. This is an arbitrary one, but I, I know. This is good, this is a good one. Another red, blue, green. But this is a pretty hilarious section. So you walk around, you're like, oh, there's a Minjo. Um, jump up here. And you read yourself, spew, poor quality canned carrots, delicioso. Mmm, cola, 100% artificial. Salt, sn salted snack treats. With extra salty goodness. You know it's good then. Oh, hold on, did I just figure out how to do this shit? Oh, yes, I did, son. Alright, here we go. Boing! Alright, finish up that purple ginger family. Uh, I need to go in there from the outside. But what I can do. Snacky fatty chunks with extra fatty goodness. Jo oh. I know Jolly's juice oh. makes you wonder. Milky milky sour milk, high fat, low in calcium. Oh look at that, missing a turtle. Last one is banjo or cousin. All right, so that's just a ninja crying wolf over there. Visitor. 
There's no speed shoes in this one, but you really don't need them. And yeah, I'm almost there. There we go. Sixty points. He gets to keep his own. Smells like shit. Oh, I'm sure. Well, I'm not gonna tell them. It probably smells like shit, dude. Alright, so then on the outside, around the back, I somehow missed that. Yeah, yeah. this? Uh -huh. This is actually the last one you're supposed to find, apparently. Alright, well, Kazooie's got one more um, egg to hatch, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I got five more notes to get, but I have a feeling I know where they are. That's the one I got, I believe. Yeah, it's looking for the room up in the house. Alright. This is made all the more easier because of the Jigium. The eyeballless Jigium being uh, thwarted. The band of eyeballs chickens. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Extraordinarily sensitive that one is. Alright, so now Bando can do what he needs to do. Alright. Yeah, I think it's. Over there. But we'll see. Let's go over here. I love this move. The double jump with banjo is a beautiful thing. Oh. 
this is a weird. It's weird that you arbitrarily have to drop something with Banjo, but I will run with it. Interesting logic. Well, really, what you gotta do is you have to go up there with Banjo in both of these situations. I don't think you actually have to drop these beans with just Banjo, but I, I don't know. I'd like to. <laughs> so sorry for being creative. I don't think you do actually have to drop these beans with just Banjo. That's just my decision. Yeah, obviously you can do with both of them right there. Oh, I don't have that yet. Oh, right. uh, stop it. Now I need to go to. No, uh, I have it for sure. I gotta go blue mama. Yeah, not that I have to with Daniel. Oh, come on. Such nonsense. Oh, get out of here, what do you think you're doing? It's my house, bro. Can't keep up with me. I'm the bane. I'm gonna have to do this again. I don't know why I decided to do this way. Just for fun. Placed, I believe I can do a thing or two with Mr. Mumbo. So, that is our next uh, assignment. Oh shit. Right, let's get this level first, but I think. I'll find it. It'll be under there. Yeah, so. Got all the notes in the game. That's how you do it. Finish off. Oh, fuck. Dude. How did I miss? There we go. Oh, all the water drains down into a favorite prehistoric theme park. Pterodactyl Land. Golly. What a wonderful thing. Oh, this is some gentleman I have not met yet. But 
I know from experience. His name is Dippy the Diplodocus. Oh, so good. Well, they come from the clouds, baby. Hey, the shadow I just dropped from the shell. And I'll just try to let it happen. Why, I'm gonna take my own shape off to the extreme. Alright, pterodactyl man's completed. Oh, actually, you know what? I could have just gone right up there. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that right there. Because there is a flight pad. Alright. I don't know which mumbo. Is the real mumbo. Why are the two nuts? Oh. Let's get these pants over here. Pants is in the Zillas also are um, type of pant. They're up there, pant line. Zebra pant line. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's see what this gentleman has to offer us. This is a real Jinjo, you know something is, is aloof because a real Jinjo and Mumbo wouldn't be seen together because they had to keep their alien species a mystery. Or they're, I mean, not alien, they're, they're, they're species. So this is, <gasps> who could this be with the cutscene? What's going on here? Hello, Mumbo, Mumbo, big surprise for you. Ooh, I like some browsers. As you see, the North Stephen resistance is futile. Fuck you. Okay, okay. Fly, tough guy. This Terminator imposter is awful. He doesn't stand a chance. <sighs> Another Grand Recurco classic here. Touchy Minji. Pat <laughs> Minji Jongo, like large vagina. Then we got one more, baby. What you got for me, Minj? Ooh, that was close. Got you, son. 
Blood through the cranium. Some gore in a banjo game. I didn't think you'd see that, did you? Get out of this place, what do you say? I don't like the stench of uh, Robo Green Goo. It's disgusting, if you know what I mean. Okay. Now, let's go to the real Momo. He knows that I know he's a fake. I think this replenishes your health bar, actually. Hey, bro. What the fuck, dude? simple purpose here. Everything's in place. You just might have to use them twice if you don't do things right. So I did everything well. I moved the seeds. Alright, so let's go. Get out of here. Get out of my face. I got business to attend to. Garbage. Get out of my face. Stop with your nonsense. Gotta go over here. Alright, as high as the shaman can go. Mumbo's a little adventure here. He does a similar thing in Pterodactyl Land now that I think about it. It's like the most out of the way. Ooh. Alright. I'll deal. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh, I get you. Oh, I don't like this. This is not fair. He's terrible, because he can only do this. Ugh. So bad. Alright. Yeah, Mumbo is very limited in this game. I wish he had more moves set, but then again... No, I just period. No, I do. I think it'd be much more fun if he had a better move set. They programmed him in a simple electric shock attack. Um, shop, like, uh, staff shock attack. Here comes the rain. He obviously is capable of performing miracles, performing magical uh, seances. Not seances, magical uh, symphonies. But look at this, the seeds I planted. They have grown, formed stalks. Up Jack must go, no, really. Up Banjo must go. Alright, you know what the fitting thing to do is here? 
You want the thing to do? Alright, bye. Why? Because you just wind back up at home. And then you're like, oh, why did that happen all of a sudden? Oh, I exited the dream, I woke up, and I realized I need to go back inside and uh, check the tea. Because uh, I left it on the, on the kettle. The kettle's too hot. Get back over here. What are you doing in my house? Stop it, nonsense. Fuck you, faker. And uh, I gotta cut the tea in the kettle. I gotta uh, do some important business over here. Alright, bye. Peace out. I'm gonna take a nap. Oh, you don't get to replenish your health. I forgot about that. So Mumbo does not allow you to replenish your health. Although that'd be dope. But even dying, I died with Mumbo. That did not replenish my health. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Alright, now I obviously have to be banjo for those portions. Uh, so let's do just that. Alright, let's get this up here. Oh, shut the fuck up. Uh. Oh, I got all this one. Oh, that was fine. I would have been like normally if I just found one. We'll deal with that. No, 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 no. Fuck, dude, that would be bad. Right here. Oh, God. This is such a wild world that way. I want to take a nap while rotating. Because that makes perfect science. Gotta make sure that it uh, goes in for 30 to 35 seconds. Otherwise, it will still be icy, cold, and wet. We do not want a soggy burrito. Or a burrito. Am I right? You don't want a burrito. Let's get out of here. We got shit to do. Oh my god, every single uh, entryway exit sequence is laggy as fuck. I apologize for that. Alright, so which one is this? This is either the Lingenberger cheese or it's our second event with Mr. Fit. I do not know what's going on. Oh my god, Mr. Fit. Is this motherfucker here? I gotta pass by you again. This is how much of a pussy you are. You can't handle the truth. You fucking no, no way you can take down Banjo. No way, no way, no how. I'm the best in all the land. Bees do not best a bear. It makes no sense unless the bear is allergic to bees. Then, well, that's not really fair, but it can happen. And we have Bridge the Gap. Thank you, Flochus. Okay. Wait, you know what the fuck? Oh, that's that's the okay, that's the irony of it. That you think you're gonna be going to Mr. Fit, but in reality, you're just going to the Lingenburger cheese. Well, actually, Banjo has another thing he needs to do. So there's something weird about this section. I think he slowed down or something. Inside the cheese wedge, it's like more lethargic. It's like they put on space. Or maybe it's just there's so much going on in here that they couldn't pro there's not the processing in time. Oh, hold on. Fuck. I gotta do this shit. Not about that. Get back over here. But it's definitely slowed down. It's like I'm moving through uh, virtual molasses, digital molasses. Look at this. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. Right, get back over here. Get back over here. What are you doing? Come on now. Just break my onion or whatever the heck that thing is. It's a floating onion. This place makes no sense. Lemon burger. I think you put onion with it or is that... Looks like onion to me. Oh, fuck with... No, get back over here. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. A nice little depression here. And the cheddar. Well, the Lingenberger. 
Hunter had Lingenberger. Like, comment, subscribe. Just kidding. <laughs> like you have Lingenberger. <laughs> uh, just play Lingenberger. Whoa. 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 What? Oh, we get to do this. Uh, that's the move of the level. Alright, I'm not gonna waste my my lose all my health. I get back here, replenish, and then jump back in. Apologies for the delay. I've forgotten about the sack pack. Here we go. I get it, okay, I see. A little bit challenging here. We can get this. What the fuck, are you kidding me? Alright, I did it again, this is hard. I'm having trouble with this. Apologies for the delay, but I, I suppose it gives us time to observe the environment. What it is. Just taking forever. I'm gonna have to get out of here. Fucked up one too many times. I apologize again. I'll complete that in a moment. I get a bit of water. Cleanse my palate. Disgusting in there. It smells like grandma's soggy waffle. Mm -hmm. What? Okay, that was bullshit. That was a micro movement. They counted it for whatever reason. There, look at that. Easy. Oh, Google, nice. Now let's use our squat pack to get out of here. Here is heinous. Apologize for the hand switching. 
Now we're out. I think, yeah, maybe we've got a couple more things we want to do with him. And then... Um, we got a few things we want to do with both the characters, of course. And... Call it a day over here in Cloud Cuckoo Land. But yeah, let's get over to... Um, Mr. Fit. Yeah, that pace is sluggish. The frame rate just drops in there. I guess there's so many moving platforms. That's why it is. Because we get out here, and it's completely fine. Mr. Fit doesn't stand a chance. Shut up. I don't want you to say that I'm a sack. I got a sack, bitch. I see you have a sack for you, It's fancy to do a race across this dirt course. Yes. Of course, you fucking piece of shit. I'm gonna kick your ass. You're retarded. You don't even understand that there's a shortcut right in the dead center of the course. I'm gonna go right forward, you fucking idiot. That's right. You don't even you don't even understand it. You're a fucking retarded idiot. So uh, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna play my race. I'm gonna go backwards. So fuck you. That's kind of shame. Not even close. He's not even close. I bet you can beat him going the long way around. But that shortcut there is too enticing. Oh, well, it's right here. Oh, what? You must have sold a lot of buttons up. Furball. You have to win three. I gotta maintain that nasally. You have to win three. Be back, Furball. Alright. Alright, just get down over there. What are you doing? Shut up. Alright. Get in there. Alright, Banjo's gotta do one more thing. I'm, I gotta figure out where it is. It's gotta go. Walls. I don't know how to get there. I forget how to get there. There's gotta be a way. Well, no, that would make sense. Ah, might be, you know, that's where the pot of gold is. That's where one goes. Shit, where is it? So, the way you figure it out is you have to, like, 
backtrack because it, it's hard to like navigate within this pattern occasionally. It can be kind of confusing. Alright, I get it. I think you can make an upgrade here. Oh, what? There you go. Alright. Alright, so now I will have to get Banjo again, but I, I just want to figure out where the fuck this thing is. And I can do a couple of things on that side too, of course. flower do I have to go through? Which door I have to go through with this banjo to get to this gelatin castle? I don't remember. I'll go over here first. Oh, Jimmy's of course. Alright. Oh, so that looks like a speckled egg. I think I'll just shoot one in there. Oh, they're going right on down. That looks like a fire rate. I think I'll shoot that right in there. Oh, it singes. It still burns on my throat. Oh, fuck it. Got the grenade egg. And our trusty ice egg. That's a ninja. There's just ninjas everywhere now. This one's fun. It's actually a pretty cool mini game. You have to. Get yourself at the level and then just slowly cruise through. And you can easily get all 100. Just slowly, but you have to go through at a decent pace. You want me to be sent? I want to hear about this. Shut up. I want to hear about it. You get 90, you get, you get the both prizes, but Paige and Jimmy. Fancy a go? Uh, certainly. Hey, turn your back up. So I got this level. Just like this. First like this, you hit everything. Rough one? Oh. Fuck. So in order to do this top row, I actually have to use two control two hands in the controller. But I can get it. Just I had to use both hands to manipulate the joystick at the top end there. How about it? So now you're at the top. There we go. That's how you do it. Okay. So I can barely get the reticle up there. offers you a chance to get all 100, but I don't know, whatever. I don't really care, no. It's not that fun. 
sure, aim's too good. Yeah. No, it's, it's, a, it's a good little tug, but I don't need to sit here all day and play it, that's for certain. Okay, so I think I just have the Canary Mary, Pagey, uh, Pagey, Ukulele, uh, Cheeto left. Oh, oh, whatever. Okay, cool. Um, isn't there something over here? Yeah. Got all the honeycombs. Got all the honeycombs. I'm just missing the Canary Mary page. Got all the notes earlier. So now we're going to find out where that gelatin castle is. And uh, we're also going to finish up with the stash box. Because I still haven't gotten those. Uh, I, I still haven't made, uh, figured out the combination to the stash box. Vault. Well, let's do that. One of the rare entries that doesn't have a, uh, or exits that doesn't have a, uh, like that. Let's see about this one. Let's see this one does. Well, this might be the entry to the whole area. Genre, wow. Oh, genre, oh, wow. Yeah, we got one. We got one. We're all set. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, genre, oh, wow. Okay. So we can go to the top, of course, but I want to find out where this gelatin castle is. I think it's a wall, if I remember. I feel like right over there. Yeah. How do I get over there? So just with that. Figure this out. Kind of hit it down. What? Pat. Yeah, try to do it. You gotta do this. Yeah, this goes. Alright. Blue Mumbo. Oh, yeah, you can use the Flotches. Flotcher. The Flotcher's Flotcher. Blue Mumbo. Cool. Bang, 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 bang. Yes, these warped LSD wild characters with flowers and candy canes it scared the shit out of me. It's like they had too much candy. Too many sweets. Alright, let's do this. Ah, uh, yep. Every egg's an entry, the glitches are... The worst. This ought to do it, huh? If this doesn't do it, I'm gonna be a little pissed off, I promise you. Oh, yeah, we got this. Moin, moin. Oh. Oh. Faster to just do this. Oh, actually, you know what? I can go through the blue entry. I won't cause them any harm. Alright, 
I think that's all I have to do with Banjo now. He's all set. It's perfect. Unless this level is a cruise. Right. Well, I started with, I think, 75, and I got two Jinjo Jiggies. So, I think I need one more... Regular? Does that sound right? Because I still got the Jolly Rogers and one more ginger to get out there, so that's at least two jiggies. Uh, we're getting down to it. So let's. Oh, oh, I need a stash box, that's for sure. Is this the last one? Might be. The last one's up top. But, um, is there anything else I need to do besides Canary Mary for the page? We'll find out. Clawmaster, or, or Wallmaster. Banner to his version. Alright. This is the one you're supposed to get a second one, I believe. Yeah. This is right there. It's right in front of your face. That red uh, glass yeah, is indicative of where those are. Interesting. Get out of here, actually. If we're gonna do this. So the last one I need to get up. Well, actually, yeah. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's see. When well, he gets up top, I need to go through a little passage to get to it. Mr. Fit too. That's right. Mr. Fit with Kazoopal. Okay, well, let's finish this sequence first. I should have remembered that. That's a really rare thing. Alright, well, let's, let's jump down there. Oh, pretty cool view up here. Mr. Fit for last. Oh, 
I'm gonna double check at the end here, but I'm pretty sure I got everything. Done the lean burger cheese, done the gelatin, done the garbage. Um, yeah, got all the bee jiggies. Yeah, feeling good. Alright, let's. How much one do I got? I don't know. I don't know. I got these because they're cool. Get up. fault that Kazooie has is that she can't grip edges. Everything else is just beautiful. Ooh, what do you got for me now, Mr. Fit? A race? A race, you stupid anteater? Awesome. You have your money to do. You think you can beat me to the finish line in the gold medal? Do you really? Oh, do you think you stand a chance? Do you think you can beat my schlong nose? Look at my schlong nose. Isn't that interesting? It just looks like a black and gray penis on my nose. You think you can beat me? Pat, looking past my schlong nose? No, there's no way. I'm a literal dickhead. I'm gonna beat your ass, dude. You don't stand a chance. Oh, bolts are ass, motherfucker. That's because we're gonna say. He like goes back and forth. If he just went straight, he might stand a chance, but he goes back and forth and he's a fool. He is a fool. I think that's all I can do right now. I think that there's. Yeah, I don't know. Canary Mary. I can do Canary Mary. So I'm gonna uh, do the Canary Mary page. And that's it. That's the train for next season. Alright, let's go back home. Wow! Alright, so we'll do Canary Mary and then we'll do the odds and ends. And heck, we could beat the game if we wanted to right now. I mean, there's not too much left. Or we could save the end game for another stream. I think I'll do that. So I'll just get all the jiggies and complete everything um, prior to going up to Cauldron Keep. Sounds good to me. Alright, let's get over to our favorite bird friend. This is the stupidest nonsense. For whatever reason, I really am having trouble with this. But we'll do it again. If we can't do it, we'll do it at the end of the game. For a joke, for a laugh. So most of this is just... It's like Boggy in the original Kazooie game. There's just sections of this game that feel nerfed now that I look back at it. Like, it's definitely not a perfect game. I think the reason I love it so much is because of nostalgia to an extent. But I also find that there are some quirky aspects of it that I just find are endearing. Um, 
So the multifaceted game for me, but I feel like this is one of the, some missed opportunities. Really, you're gonna have this. You're gonna have two jiggies and two pages in the game. Literally, just be a, a pressing against the weirdo bird lady. Very bizarre. Very bizarre decision to make this fucking thing in the game. It's interesting though, I mean like, it's like, it's almost as if this group, which I've been working on, DKC1, DKC2, and then Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, uh, it's almost as if this group went out the loony bin with this game, especially at this level, because they got more and more, um, self-deprecating, they became, uh, way more fixated on the dialogue, which I think is a dry humor, the dry rich humor is, is, is far more prevalent in this game than it was in Kazooie. Kazooie's a little romp where you get some little, little in-jokes here and there, but uh, this one is an all-out frenzy. So I, like, I appreciate that aspect of it. The, the dialogue is spot on in this game, and I love it. But, some of the gameplay is just super questionable. Frankly, kind of stupid in my opinion. So I'm looking to move through this, hopefully finish this and beat this and beat this shit because I don't want to do it again. This is the worst view right here. Seeing as I lost a little step there. there. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Literally last screen. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? You have to like jam it right there. Uh, I don't know. That's just... Some poor shit, dude. I get it, you beat me. Ugh, do I want to play that again? Alright, last time, three times the charm, right? So we'll do it one more time, and then... I don't do it this time. We will go out to the world proper and just leave this, because this is stupid. And I can definitely understand uh, the public plight with Canary Mary, which is fucking dog shit. So actually, this time I'm changing up the strategy a little bit. I'm just staying with her. I got too fast, but fast enough. I got sick of going that slow too, so let me just speed it up a little bit. You know? I'm trying to technique here, I'm a little bit. Oh, she isn't going to be fair, so I like that part. What is going on? I'm like way ahead of her right now. She's just building up speed. I can't even hear her anymore. No. Normally when you beat when you, with this race, you, she rubber bands. Like she's a, she's gonna go faster, isn't she? I'm wrecking her right now. This is this is broken. She doesn't stand a fucking chance. Oh here she comes. Okay, now here you okay, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now you have to go. Now you have to ramp it up. Oh, 
Oh, I can do the That was interesting. So she can't hit that max speed unless like you really can shit that. So I mean, it, maybe that was good. Obviously it was. Fuck yeah, dude. That was weird. Yeah, you did. Okay. Fuck you, Canary Mary. You're the most annoying character in the game. <laughs> what are you doing? That's where I'm staring at. Take me back a minute. Hmm, sounds cool. How about the rest of us time in the dinner? Uh, no, you probably will. Now I go hungry. Sit around, fuck old bird and bear, bubble. I fuck face. Alright. We got all the collectibles in the game. Except, no, we didn't. We got a couple of ginger. Uh, no, I think just one ginger to get. One ginger. Oh. There you go. Oh, uh, one ginger. Uh, and then one jiggy. Two jiggies, because the dungeon jiggy provides a jiggy. So two jiggies, but one by a ginger. We're almost done. Let's get out of Kajuku. So now, I believe we gotta go to Hailfire Peaks. We'll see what Mildred says. Her husband has departed and she's looking for him. She has, does she know he's dead? That's my curiosity. Or is she just as oblivious as she was before? Hopefully we can talk to her. It'd be so annoying if I can't talk to her. So let's go to the icy side. Or do we want to do this chicky first because it's actually on the way. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. We got the ice. George is all... Uh, actually cooled the water down quite a bit. So now we can make this happen. Ooh. H2O. Uh, that's And then we'll go to Cheeto and then head up to Cauldron Keep. And before doing Cauldron Keep, we'll call our stream and finish Cauldron Keep next time. So let's see if she says anything. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't no, talk to me. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you f are you f Oh, I went to all this effort just to find that there's no dialogue option? Ah, uh, that was exciting and all for not. Okay, cool. Bye. Ow, <laughs> 
So now what I can do is get the heck out of here and go over to Cheeto and I think this opens up the jukebox at Jolly's. So that's actually a cool thing to check out. Oh no, I want to go to the lower end. That's right. Oh. So why are you singing now? Selections. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm going to Jolly's. Not yet. Actually, I'm going, I'm going to Cheetos. And then, uh, Look how much faster he's moving now. Look at that. Dude, it's, it's like this game kicks into perfect mode sometimes. Alright, so now let's go to. One thing to note is I am holding the R button. It's as if it's speeding things up and making them run more slowly. What in the world? Seamless continue. Look at that. I feel like everything is moving more smoothly now. Beautiful. All right. Let's see what Cheeto's up to. Okay, now this is a little bit slower back to normal. There we go. It's, it's probably not there's a lot to process here. There's waterfalls, there's a lot going on in this area. That's to what the glitchiness occurs. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much Banjo Tui. I found obviously uh, not quite done yet. I got to the end game, but um, yeah, they definitely like a 90 is a weird number of jiggies. They skipped on some things, but it's an enormous game. So, can't say I played them entirely. They went a little too hard on uh, the middle of the mid game, in my opinion. Especially Pterodactyl Land, I mean, it's a crazy level. The cheat is jukebox, yep, that's right. Alright, so Maya had a jump board. Honey back, I just can't do. Like, I, I don't feel right. I'm not gonna do this playthrough. Um, I might as well put it through. I'm not gonna turn it on because it's just cheap. It's so fucking cheap. All right, let's fly back out of here and go over to. Um... Are you fucking kidding me? That was nuts. Let's go to my own temple into the code room. Honey back in jukebox. All right. So whatever reasons, this area is loading pretty good for me right now. I'm doing well. Okay. I definitely, um, I definitely like the code room in Banjo Kazooie. Uh, I prefer the code room in Banjo Kazooie to the code room in this game. Uh, I, I feel like the code room in this game has a lot of, it's beautiful, like, surrounding it, but the actual code room itself is, it's okay, it's a little temple, it's cool, don't get me wrong, it's, it's interesting, but the Kazooie code room, inevitable comparison, obviously, uh, it's the sandbox, it's the sand castle, rather, um, and it uh, involves Leaky, which is a cool character, which always is going to be in association with it, so that's interesting, I like that. Let's put our codes here. Alright, so we got honey bag, just in case. So just to like say we did it, you know, I guess we should just say. I might not, I probably won't use it, but um, I think I can be friends with it without it. But I think I can. Definitely feasible. If you're on your game, it might take me a one to try. I might die once. But, eh, it's not the right attitude. I think I can do it. Ooh, that's close. That's close. That's close. That's close. Yes. That's the cheap. That's, that's the, the cheapest thing ever. You don't want to do that. It's cheating. 
I can't believe that's the fourth key. That should be like super secretive, but it's not. It's the fourth key. You can get it for the final boss and like make it not even a challenge. Unless you completely don't know what you're doing. Jukebox dream happens. You can just try to make the jukebox a job. Alright, I'm gonna let you look at it. I'm gonna turn them off. That one I don't want. I want this one on. Cool. Alright, so now we're gonna do the end game. Because we don't need the jukebox right now. Jukebox is cool, but like we can do that afterwards. Alright, so let's go back and go through to the quagmire and get ourselves up to the gate and call it a stream. It's been wonderful. Pat Hoogland is the clusterfuck of the world uh, with some nice tinder notes to it. Um, so we are ready for the next section, the final game, the final game, the end game, we are ready to face off against Rotilda. After, after uh, trekking through an Isle of Hags and completing all sorts of wonky, bizarro tasks, I think we need Thank you, dude. Cracky Dactyls are hustling. Um, pretty decent AI there, actually. Um, just want to stay with your course. Decent AI there, so I'm saying. Like, they, if they get you in a, de in a, in a straight on stream, they can get you. Decent AI there. Switch. I think that this just stays. Yeah. Cool. Alright, then we'll call it a stream. Love you guys. Alright.